Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. Alright, on today's episode, we're going to do a few miscellaneous things on the blazer. Um, I think we got some sanding to do. I think we're going to put some seam sealer in place. I think we're going to do a little painting. So it'll be a little bit of an assortment. Um, one of the things that I do want to talk about that you're going to see in today's uh, episode, uh, we're pulling some trim off an old truck. And here's the reason why. One thing that you'll find if, if, if you work a lot on older cars, um, you'll already know this and, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It is a struggle to find the right components and things that will fit and things along those lines. Um, so we ran into some challenges with the blazer. Uh, some of the people that we were ordering from said some parts wouldn't fit a blazer versus a pickup versus a Suburban. And, you know, so we were uh, basically taking the time to try to figure out if these parts will actually fit or what the differences are. In some cases, there were slight differences between them. And so uh, the catalog said the part wouldn't fit. But if, you know, you could tolerate an end beam cut just a slightly different way or, you know, something like that, it, it would work okay. So um, it, it's something that I've you know, I've been messing with cars a long time. Um, you know, I've bought new parts that were terrible quality, um, which brings me to another thing. It's like the quality of some of these reproduction parts is horrible. Some of it's really good. Um, you know, I've bought reproduction parts that don't fit at all. Um, in some cases, I've even gone back to the 50-year-old part uh, just because it, it worked and the new ones, I, I couldn't find a good one. Uh, one time I was putting some rear window trim on a, I think it was a 71 Chevelle, and the new reproduction stuff, when it came out of the box, looked awesome, nice and shiny, but it's paper thin, and I would just take my thumb and I was trying to push it down into the, you know, to snap it in place, and just the pushing it with my thumb would put a dent in it. I mean, the, the quality was horrible, but it was just paper thin, and then in the end, you know, you've got a, a, a oval piece basically or a rectangular piece and it, it wouldn't fit together and it, it wouldn't stay snapped into place. And, uh, you know, we ended up just putting the OE stuff back on. So um, that's one thing that's a constant battle and you'll see a little bit of this today. Um, we were ordering a lot of the trim for the Blazer and it probably took us, uh, we probably had four hours and in ordering trim. I mean, it, it's crazy how long some of that stuff takes. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy the episode. <laughs> Alright, Ed's working on the, the last door here. Uh, that one over there is done. I'll show you that one in a little bit. This door is all guide coated and ready to be sanded out. So he's getting close. Uh, then they'll go into the booth and get painted as well. He'll have to do the hood and the tailgate yet. And then all the body panels on this will be, will be painted. This door is done. Let me see if I can pick it up a little wet but um, this one's all done ready to be painted and they'll just have the hood and the tailgate yet that takes a long time with these older vehicles uh, so we're trying to order trim for the blazer and uh, we're being told that some of the trim is different between a blazer and a truck um, oh shoot and uh, so we're trying to figure out if this rear opening trim is different between a truck and a blazer hopefully I can get all these screws out or most of them. So far I got one that's a problem. But this just eats up time. 
You're not gonna believe it, I got all the screws loose. Now I'm afraid this piece of trim is pinched right there. So that'll be the next thing. No uh, all they're, they're all coming off. I might need to crack this rear bumper loose to get this piece off. I didn't notice that right away. It's kind of pinched, but we'll see. I got all the screws broke loose, so. Hey, Ken, I see you sitting like that. Yeah. And I think of the snake. Yeah, I know. You got it out, though, right? All the screws are out now, so. Shit. I can't imagine, Nate. It's, it's stuck behind there. Let me get a screwdriver. Uh, I need a bolt and three-eighths. Is that nine-sixteenths on each end? It looks like it, but bring a couple just in all case. Right. The reason I chose this truck is the screws actually look pretty decent, so I bet if we crack that bumper loose, we'll be able to get that piece of trim out. I don't know if you can see these screws. They're actually in pretty decent shape as, right as far as rust goes. <laughs> I mean? broke the bolt off. Got it. There we go. Of course, they put the bolt through the trim. <laughs> All right, let's see if it fits. Too short. I mean, it'll work. But see how they're sh it's short? I think it would still work. I think, it, yeah, I think it'll, uh... But m maybe that's how they were? Yeah. Although, yeah, maybe that's where the hole is, and it looks like it matches up to that hole. Let me see this one if it matches up. <laughs> Don't scratch it. You know. Yeah. Looks like that hole would line up. All right. That looks like it's going to work. Okay, so. beautiful. Awesome. All right, we're going to get trim ordered. Alright, so when we initially went to order that trim, we were told there were some differences. Um, it was a major uh, 
classic vehicle parts supplier and we went out and looked at a bunch of the trucks and there are actually some really super minor differences it could be just different makers made them or you know they just tweak the lengths or the you know how far down they went or things like that from year to year so but I, I think we're gonna be okay and we're gonna be able to get all the pieces of trim we need for the blazer so that's uh, that's awesome news so Ed threw a piece of that uh, seam sealer down. This is kind of what's used in modern cars uh, versus the old smear on, you know, the old school way of doing it. So, of course, the Mac Tools guys got to roll up right when I'm talking. There's a shot of the package that it came in. and you paint right over the top of it. Uh, we're gonna get a little wheel and, you know, kind of roll this down and, you know, flatten it out, make sure it's attached really well. Alright, this door's got the uh, back up. Beep, beep, beep.